Eric Scopel, 247 Sports. DJ, what's, what's the last year been like for you coming into this program during weird circumstances with COVID and playing a season like that? And if you, if you feel like you've kind of gotten a, a total feel for Eugene and campus and everything, or, or is there still a lot for you to learn, even though you've been here so long? Um, yeah, it's, a, it's definitely been an interesting uh, experience to go through. Um, so I was here from, what, January to about March when it all started. Um, and then I got sent home. So I had that first normal term, I guess. Um, but other than that, you know, I've gotten to know the area. Um, a lot of the guys have helped me out getting comfortable around here, you know. So uh, it's been good. Max Torres, Ducks Digest. TJ, uh, Saturday scrimmage is one of the first times we got to see some people in the stands, uh, you know, for you guys to play. Uh, I saw that your parents got to make it out too. You know, what, what was that uh, environment like, you know, being able to, to play in front of them and, and have some people back in Autzen? Yeah, it was, it was awesome. Um, that was my first appearance in Autzen with any type of fans or anything. So it was, uh, it was definitely special um, and uh, just a great, great time. James Krapia, the Oregonian. You did just take us back through your recruitment a little bit and why you picked Oregon because – uh, I saw that you were picking over Auburn and some other spots and uh, obviously you ended up in a starting job, man. But I mean, there were other spots that there was probably a greater degree of certainty as to ending up a starter uh, Auburn among them. So what ultimately was it about Oregon uh, that made it the uh, selection for you? Um, I guess one thing for me is, is, uh, is for me in the recruitment process, it was a big deal for me to stay kind of close to home. I feel like, um, so somewhere on the West Coast. And also um, what I looked for was uh, just how, uh, like it felt like a family here, you know? I just, I felt more comfortable here than I did anywhere else that I recru got recruited from. So, uh, but yeah, that's, that's a lot of it. Jerry Thompson, Ducks Illustrated. The Jerry, you're muted. I know this is our first Zoom, but uh, you gotta unmute yourself. No, oh, I got it. Got there it. we go. So, TJ, uh, how demanding is the program here? You've been high school, uh, different levels, and and where have you seen yourself improving uh, as far as your conditioning and and strength? Um. Yeah. So, I mean, coming from JUCO, it was a. Uh, it's been quite a bit more time consuming. I'd say. Um, you have more meetings, um, more walkthroughs, all of that kind of stuff, you know. And then I'd say for me, it's just honing in technique and then, you know, in the weight room, just getting stronger and getting better every day for me. Max Torres, Ducks Digest. TJ, uh, you know, we were talking just now about how you came from JUCO. I feel like JUCO uh, players sometimes kind of get written off or they don't get the best, uh, you know, reputation. What was that kind of like for you uh, going, uh, you know, from high school to JUCO and, and ending up at Oregon? Um, yeah, I, JUCO was a, it was a great experience for me because uh, it was the first time away from home. So it was a, uh, it's, it's an interesting time to, you have to learn your balance between money, cleaning up after yourself because you don't have your mom around, you know. Um, so that was a definitely great learning experience for me um, in that aspect. And then coming to Oregon, it was a decent, it was, it was an easier transition, I'd say, from going to JUCO right away because, you know, you're already on your own compared to being home. Um, so it helped with the transition to come here and made it quite a bit easier. Ryan Thorburn, Register Guard. TJ, how did you develop a, a chemistry with, you know, your, your unit last year, which was all new starters and you guys couldn't hang out off the field and, and all that stuff with social distancing. Mm -hmm. How did you guys kind of connect last year and come together and how far along are you now compared to them? Um, I would say... Well, it was actually uh, – so when I came on my re my uh, official visit here, Ryan and um, and Alex were my the people that, like, showed me around, you know. So I already kind of knew them. And uh, so really I, I just kind of stuck around them at first, uh, learning other uh, all the other players. So uh, they helped tremendously 
with uh, the chemistry we built, I'd, I'd say. Um, and then, yeah. Was there a second part to that question? Sorry. Just with the pandemic, how did you guys kind of bond without being able to eat together, <laughs> hang out, and all that stuff that offensive linemen normally do? Yeah, no, it was, it made it a lot tougher, uh, definitely. Um, I mean, we were on Zoom a lot when um, we were all back home. So, I mean, really, it was just during the season when we got back here, practice, just grinding with each other. So, yep. Matt Preen, 247 Sports. TJ, what, what did you guys learn from Saturday's scrimmage? And I guess, how do you guys implement that? Or what do you implement into the next couple of practices before your next spring game or scrimmage on Saturday? Um, it's it's just to keep getting better every day. Um, just keep grinding with each other. Um, keep working on technique and honing in. And that's pretty much all it is. Just get better every day. James. Coach Maribel talked about uh, needing to improve in the run game uh, specifically for you guys. So for you personally, individually, uh, how have you looked to go about that here in the spring and the off season, TJ? Um, definitely honing in my footwork um, and hands, especially um, in the run game. So uh, for me, I would say it was more of my second step. I need to bring that uh, more aggressive forward. Um, and then explode my hips into the block. So, I mean, it's really just honing in that technique. And uh, with Coach Maribel, that really helps. Max. TJ, I, I feel like, you know, every player's kind of got their own unique style, uh, you know, what they like to do to, to get the best out of themselves on the field uh, or in any aspect. You know, what's your – do you have, like, a, a morning routine or, like, a practice routine that, that you like to go through to make sure you're in the zone? Um. Uh, I don't know about like a special routine I have, um, but I, no, not necessarily. I mean, I'm just, you know, show up, I get ready and just get in that mindset, um, kind of have to wake up with it, um, come to the facilities with it. Um, and, uh, coach really preaches on, um, if you don't bring that mindset then, uh, you know, what are you doing? Jerry. Okay, TJ. Offensive holding is kind of a little bit of a mystery. What can you, where's the fine line that you, what you can do and where you cross that line? Or, or is that a secret that you don't want to tell people about? Uh, I don't know if anyone has that one quite figured out, to be honest. Um, there's, there's different aspects to it, I guess. Um, it's just what the ref sees, I guess. I, I mean, there's some techniques you can use to some people get away with. It. I, I mean, I don't know. That's a that's a good one. All right, TJ, that's all we have for you. Appreciate your time. Right. I appreciate it. Have a good one. You too. Have a good day. That's all we have.